Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, the Louisiana Lottery, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Amerigroup Insurance, McLean Financial Group, the Communities of Color Network, Tobacco-Free Living, Mid-South Bank, and Jerry Lane Buick GMC. Hello and we call, welcome to week 12 of the Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odoms. Of course we come to you each week from the end zone, Daiquiri's and Bar, located at 6224 Plank Road. We invite you to come out in the neighborhood of about 7 o'clock, talk a little SU football with coach and I after we shoot the show, have some libations and some wings at uh, the end zone. Of course we come on about five times a week. You can catch us as you see the channels on the graphic. And you can also catch us anytime you want on YouTube or our Facebook channel. Coach, jumping right into it. Great game Saturday night in Prairie View. Final score, 44 to 34. That to me was ultimately decided by stout defensive play. And namely, Aaron Tiller. Four big sacks, one fumble recovery. He actually got the sack, got the fumble, recovered in the end zone. Monster game by Aaron Tiller and your defensive unit. Well, I really thought, you know, I'm Aaron Tiller stepped up and made some key players for He's one of our better players. And, you know, when our good guys show up and play well, we got a chance to play against anybody. And, you know, you saw his performance. Uh, it's probably one of the better defensive performances I've seen since I've been at Southern. He really came to play. His mindset was in the right place. And I'm happy for that young man. Coach, another game, another record falls. Mr. Willie Quinn, Mr. Excitement, or as I like to call him, Fast Willie Quinn, he took down the Southern University all-time leading receiver in yards record. He passed Michael Hayes with 3,052 yards, but he passed him also in sheer excitement. Coach, talk about what it means to have a guy of Willie's stature on your football team. Well, you know, Willie's been here, you know, the same time that I've been here, you know, just to watch that young man grow and develop into the football player that he's become. You know, it's a testament to his work ethic. You know, I think he's one of the most electrifying football players on the 5'10". You know, I think every time he touches the ball, he has a chance to go the distance. You know, I'm excited for him. I thought that was a performance that was second to none. He made some big plays, and, and hopefully down the stretch, he continues to make some big plays for us. All right, well, let's jump into those highlights, Coach, and show the folks exactly what happened in Prairie View and at their new $61 million stadium. Very nice stadium. As you can see, uh, uh, Contavious Preston starts it off by sticking him with a loss of three. Uh, Jalen Martin comes back. Uh, he actually caught the, uh, the, t the TD, but he was out of bounds, so we caught a break right there, Coach. Well, exactly. You know, timely defense. You know, you got to get those feet down in bounds. There you see another great defensive play by the Jaguars. Augustine gets a good hit as soon as the man catches the ball. And talk about Willie Quinn catching the ball, juking and jiving, getting positive yardage. Austin Howard drops back. He hits Beard. Beard has been a luxury for Howard this year, Coach, at the tight end position. Great security blanket for him. And there you go. You see us. Uh, actually, Austin Howard throws an interception right here, Coach. Everybody thought it was a... Uh, the, wait a minute, that was a touchdown. Yeah, it was right. a touchdown, and we had the, uh, uh, the extra, extra point, point that failed. Yes, that's it. Here you see the great kickoff coverage by the special teams. Coach, your defense was swarming to the ball. As you can see, we get the ball back. Howard rolls out. Great catch. Way to hold on to the ball right there. And there he is, the all-time leading rusher, Mr. Leonard Tiller. He's always falling forward. Coach, you got to be pleased with what you saw thus far. Right now the score is 9-7, and uh, it's actually a great game. They fumble, we get the ball. Howard makes a pass out to uh, Menard. Then Tillery patiently setting up his blocks. Coach, I've enjoyed watching his maturity and how he waits on his blocks. Here you see Howard hit Menard. We get on the board again. The extra point is good. And of course, at this juncture, it's 14, 16. Uh, coach, but you gotta be pleased with uh, uh, the way Tillery just sets up his block. 
Well, exactly. And, you know, he does a great job running right here. You see Willie Quinn going in for a touchdown. Folks, that is the play that Willie broke Michael Hayes' record on this 59-yard touchdown. Cut it, caught it, cut back across the grain and takes the 59 yards. The extra point is good. At this point, the score is 23-14. Talk about defense. Aaron Tiller. He was a man, he was a man among boys. And then there you see Mr. Tillery doing his thing up the middle for a big positive 52-yard gain. Coach, you gotta win games when your guys do that. This play fascinated me. Willie Quinn was running sideways, coach. Well, I tell you, the guy has some I great had to show ability. it twice, I mean, coach. Look at this. Right here, he just nice goes sideways. Step right there. <laughs> Outstanding by Willie Quinn. Yep. Willie Quinn. One more home game, folks. Y'all need to get out and see Willie. Herbert Edwards comes in, rushes one for seven, takes one for one. We score again. Score is 13, 30 to 14 at this point. Coach, talk about great defense. They, they, they rushed the ball, but the, the, the stick was incredible, Coach. They put some leather on them. Well, exactly. I thought we played really physical on defense, and, you know, we held them to 135 yards rushing. And when you can do that, you have a chance to win football games. There you go. You see the defense again, putting pressure on the quarterback. And there you go. That man, Danny Johnson, his seventh interception of the season. Coach, this young man has been playing lights out. You might catch one on him, but he's going to catch one on you. Well, exactly, and I think Danny is one of those uh, good players that we have on our football team that shows up every Saturday and compete at a high level. Well, there you have it. First half, 30 to 14 Jaguars. When we come back, we'll look at the second half of the SU Prairie View game on the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. to the Multiplier Games. Multiply your winnings five times, 10 times, 25 times, 50 times. Win up to $200,000. Louisiana Lottery. Multiply your play. At Mid-South Bank, we're dedicated to providing loans that allow our customers to achieve their business and personal dreams. That's one promise you can bank on. We're not just business associates, we're neighbors. We're committed to our customers and the strength of our local economy. Here at Mid-South Bank, responsibility matters. With locations in Texas and Louisiana and still growing. Discover how our customers are finding strength in numbers at Mid-South Bank. Traveling with kids is kind of a nightmare, but flying out of BTR makes it stress-free. Everyone there is so much friendlier than any other airport I've been to. You can't have a fantastic city without the community support of a great airport. I can actually get anywhere in the world from right here in town. BTR makes travel so easy that I feel at home right when my plane lands. It takes almost no time to get back to my family. So that feeling of, ah, uh, this is home, for me, happens at BTR. So we can feel forever you feel Together be real, together No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Here we go! Taste the feeling Thirty to twenty-four at the half. I'm sorry, thirty to fourteen at the half. You go into Prairie View's nice new facilities. What did you tell the team at halftime to guard against a letdown? Well, when you look at it on paper, they're a second-half football team. They've outscored their opponents, you know, in the third and fourth quarter. So we know they had to make a great run at us. We saw them come out with the same intensity, as zero to zero. We got thirty minutes to decide a football game. Uh, let's not let's not have any doubts. Let's leave it all on the field and let's do what we got to do to be able to come home with this victory. Coach, another outstanding performance by Mr. Leonard Tillery. 245 yards, a career day rushing the football, 
And I mean, his time of possession and his, his, his runs at the right time were just incredible to me. Uh, talk about a player of his magnitude being able to control that ball and control time of possession for you. Well, I really think he's one of the better running backs in the country. I think he's going to have a chance to, to really get himself prepared for the, for the next opportunity in his life. You know, when he gets the football, he's definitely thinking about scoring. He runs hard. Uh, he has that physical presence, that explosiveness. And, you know, he's just one of the better football players that we have on our football team. And it's been an honor to be able to coach those young men uh, for their time at Southern University. Well, there you hear from the coach. Let's jump into those second half highlights and show the folks how we closed out the game against Prairie View. They get the ball, they march it down. Uh, coach, I, I was pretty impressed with their quarterback play. Uh, right here they did a little reverse, nice, easy uh, uh, catch and, and, and score. They come back for a two point try and we defend it well, they don't get it. The score is 30 to 20. Coach, this, this game to me was close the whole way through, really. It was, it was a score, two scores away. Well, just a hard fought football game. And, you know, when you're playing against a team of that caliber, you know, you're gonna, they're going to make plays. And right there, you see Tillery breaking another one. Tillery, I mean, again, a huge 54 yarder at the right time. Howard finds Herb Edwards for nine yards and a touchdown. Albuquerque's on the kick. Coach, that kid Albuquerque has been really doing well for extra points. Well, he's doing great. You know, we had a 31-yard field goal in this game, and, you know, just exciting to see everything coming together. There you see the defense uh, coming alive, and we fumble. They get the ball back, and there you have it. Another sack by, the, by your defenders. Coach, they were just playing like mad dogs all day. Well, no, I thought the attitude was great. I thought the game plans on both sides of the ball were great, you know, but still, wherever you see them making plays, man, this is a game that you got to wheel yourself to victory. Coach, 37-27 at this juncture, and there he is, Mr. Willie Quinn, fast Willie Quinn, exciting Willie Quinn. Coach, I thought he was going to take it to the house. Yeah. Unfortunately, got run out of bounds right here, but you, can, you always got to love when a guy can take you 80 yards downfield, Coach. Unfortunately, you see Howard throws an interception after that great effort by Willie Quinn, but that guy, Aaron Tiller, he gets the sack, the strip with the fumble, and he recovers for the touchdown. Coach, what more can you get out of a guy? Well, I tell you, the effort on that play was great. It just seemed like every time they made a play, we would come back and make a play of our own. There you see, they catch the ball, and uh, we stick the receiver and make them toss it up. They get the ball back, another sack by Aaron Tiller. He was lights out all day. That quarterback is sick of seeing number 94, Coach. Well, it's going to be big games. Your, your good players got to show up and make plays. And I tell you, Aaron Tiller be thinking about that one for years to come. There's another one. I mean, just a huge hit. And I know as an old defensive coordinator, you got to appreciate it, Coach. Well, you know, I just think those guys are having fun. It's a football team that that loves having fun. You know, we don't get too uptight. I mean, they were they were playing a physical football game out there, and they know down the stretch that it's going to take that kind of physicality. Right there, you see two guys running to each other. But I'm just excited for how, how physical we play on defense. A missed interception opportunity. They score late. The final score, uh, Coach, 44-34. Uh, you really had to be pleased with the effort of your Jaguars and a, and a very good Prairie View team at that, Coach. Very good football team. Interception right there to close out the game. All right, there you have it. 44-34 against the Prairie View Panthers. When we come back, we'll look ahead to our Alpha Media Players of the Week and our Coca-Cola Player interview on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. have two kids and like any mom I want them to be healthy so I chose Amerigroup Louisiana for our healthy Louisiana plan we get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage but you know what I really like I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits choose Amerigroup Louisiana call 1-855-229-6848 today that's 1-855-229-6848 
To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game of planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. We're a Jerry Lane family. Always be to Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Of course, we come to you each week from the end zone, Daiquiri's and Bar, located at 6224. We invite you to come out about 7 o'clock and catch one of the last two shows uh, for the 2016 season. Coach, right now, of course, we've got the Alpha Media Players of the Week. Who are the Players of the Week in the Prairie View game on offense, defense, and special teams? Well, offensively, it was a uh, guy that's won it a couple times this year, uh, Lenard Tillery. Outstanding day, over 245 yards rushing. On defense, it was Aaron Tiller turned in a stellar performance, four sacks. And special teams, uh, special teams, it was uh, Willie Quinn, another great return, always somebody that can make a play for us. So those are the Alpha Media Players of the Week. All right, there you have it from the coach. All right, coach, after the game, Joe and I caught up with a, a group of players, and uh, Joe filed this report for the Coca-Cola player interview. Well, Todd, we're here at PV with our all-star quarterback, Austin Howard. And Austin, what a night. Listen, over 200 yards, four TDs. Seems like you and the offense are clicking on all cylinders. What do you contribute to this success? Oh, man, I just give credit to my whole line to Coach Barry, you know, just for calling the players, putting us in the best position. You know, just uh, Monday through Friday, man, that's, that's where this comes from. So, you know, I just give all the credit to them. Well, you're definitely on the grind. And speaking about being on the grind, you got that superstar receiver, Record setter, Willie Quinn. How does it feel to pass to him? Oh, man, it's just a blessing, man. You know, you just can't take away, like, you just can't take away him, you know? So, like, he's going to find a way to get open. So, I mean, I just I just thank God for him. Just thank God for placing, placing him in our offense instead of anybody else. So. Well, the coach keeps saying one and done. So, we're one. We're moving on to the next one as we continue to go toward a SWAC championship. Congratulations, man. Yes, Any closing words? A five a man day. Todd, we're here with the SWAC all-time leading rusher, Lenard Tillery. And Lenard, today was your day, man. One of the best days in your career. Your previous was 195. Today, you went over 242 yards. How did it feel running that rock today? Oh, it felt great. You know, the offensive line opened a lot of, a lot of holes today, so it was easy on my part just to uh, get downhill and run the ball. Well, as Austin Howard and the offense and you continue to click on all cylinders, we keep on saying it's just one game and we move on to the next. Our next opponent is PB. What can we expect there? Uh, Mississippi Valley next week, and we're going to be expecting a dog fight out of them. Those guys come to play every year. And uh, like I said, I was here on that 6-0 game, so, you know, there's a lot of animosity built up. Right. The last home game against Mississippi Valley was not good for the Jaguars, but we keep on pressing, keep on moving toward that SWAC championship. You're looking forward to making it this year. That would be a great way to end your year with a SWAC championship. Oh, yeah. You know, that's our goal every year. But one thing Coach Olsen tells us is just to stay focused on the task that we have ahead. And this week is just going to be going 1-0 against uh, Mississippi State. That's what I'm talking about. You heard it right here on the Jaguar Football Show. It's Valley we talking about. Stay you next. You next. Right, I'm here with Aaron Tiller, and the Dog Day defense definitely showed up today, and they showed out. Aaron is a junior linebacker from Columbus, Ohio. Had a monster day today. You had 10 tackles, four sacks, one resulting in a fumble that was recovered in the end zone. Man, what got you pumped up for this day? 
I mean, we just went out there and coach said it was hunting season and he, and he had a lot of expectations for me that I seen out the paper. And we just went out there and I went out there and really cleared my head and played the game that I love. It was the dog day defense and y'all showed up and showed that. This is the type of game that is a linebacker's dream. Here's my question for you. Can we continue to play at this high level? I mean, Coach Oliver always harps on a champion repeats his performance. So my biggest thing is going out there and getting our defense to really try to repeat our performance. So we just got to go out there and just keep executing the game plan and believing in our coaches. And I think everything's going to fall in place for us. Well, a game like this, Aaron, how did you like playing in this brand new stadium here at PV? It really felt good. It's a really nice facility. I, I'm proud of what they did, you know, from coming to a high school stadium to this. I mean, it really looked good. It's really a D1 stadium. I, it's, a, it's, it's comfortable, and I'm, I like the stadium that we played in. I'm glad we came out here one. Todd, it. I'm here with Willie Quinn, super senior from Miami, Florida, and another great day today, Willie, on the grid down. Over 115 yards and a beautiful 59-yard TD. But most important, you became the all-time leading receiver in yards today, and you were already the all-time catch record holder. And now that you did all that, man, and all these total yards here at Southern, I got to say congratulations. But let me ask you a question. How does it feel to be the greatest receiver at Southern of all time? I mean, it's a blessing. You know, I ain't just uh, been doing this. You know, I've been doing this for a very long time since I was young. You know, it's just a blessing to come to school and, you know, to break all these records. Well, Willie, next record on the horizon. You're one away from being the FCS all-time return record holder. How does it feel, and I'm pretty sure you're frustrated, that it seems to be most of the teams you play won't even kick the ball to you? I mean, it's fine with me. It just give our offense a better chance to, to score. It'd be shorter field position on the 35, 45, wherever they kick it out. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's best for our offense. Well, congratulations on everything that you achieved. Best of luck throughout the rest of the season. You heard it right here on the Jaguar Football Show. Coach, wouldn't you love to have a team full of Willie Quinns, Austin Howards, Aaron Tillers, and and uh, Lenard Tillery's, I mean, just incredible. The luxury to have leaders and talented football players like that and just really enjoy watching those guys play. Well, Coach, we're going to wrap up this segment and uh, come back and talk about our last home game of the 2016 season against Mississippi Valley Delta Devils. So stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. <laughs> At Mid-South Bank, we're dedicated to providing loans that allow our customers to achieve their business and personal dreams. That's one promise you can bank on. We're not just business associates, we're neighbors. We're committed to our customers and the strength of our local economy. Here at Mid-South Bank, responsibility matters. With locations in Texas and Louisiana and still growing. Discover how our customers are finding strength in numbers at Mid-South Bank. Traveling with kids is kind of a nightmare, but flying out of BTR makes it stress-free. Everyone there is so much friendlier than any other airport I've been to. You can't have a fantastic city without the community support of a great airport. I can actually get anywhere in the world from right here in town. BTR makes travel so easy that I feel at home right when my plane lands. It takes almost no time to get back to my family. So that feeling of, ah, uh, this is home, for me, happens at BTR. So we can feel wherever you feel Together be real, together No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Here we go! Taste the feeling Back to the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, quickly, what do we know about Mississippi Valley this year? Spread offense, 4-2-5 uh, on the defense, play with that four down, and special teams have one of the better punters in the conference. So 
it all be a tough one, but I think if we stick to the process, everything should work out. We need everybody out there at Mumford Stadium because it's senior night. It's Willie Quinn's last game. It's Leonard Tillery's last game. It's uh, Anthony Mosley's last game. Terrell Lee, Jamal Bolden, Demetrius Carter, Raheem Ledbetter, Blake Monroe, Rashad Turner, and others. Coach, talk about what they meant to your team. Well, they've been here. A lot of you guys been here through the start and. You know, we took over a program that was in a dormant stage and been able to resurrect it. So, and we did it with those guys by sticking out with the program, sticking to the process. And I'm excited for the success for those young men and the future looks bright for them. Get out there on Mumford Stadium and see them. When we come back, we'll wrap up this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom. have two kids and like any mom I want them to be healthy so I chose Amerigroup Louisiana for our healthy Louisiana plan we get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage but you know what I really like I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits choose Amerigroup Louisiana call 1-855-229-6848 today that's 1-855-229-6848 to gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. Jerry Lane. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the line, get the line. Get the line, get the line. Get the line, get the line. We're a Jerry Lane family. Always be to. Of course, Coach, we want to mention again that it's Senior Day this Saturday on the Bluff. Need you to come out, support those seniors. The guys that brought us a SWAC championship a couple years ago, they were runners-up a couple years ago. And this year, hopefully they'll be playing for the SWAC championship again. So we need you on the Bluff this Saturday to see those guys. Coach, any last word? Go Jags! Go Jags! <laughs> <laughs>